Hey guys, I was over to the gaming store there the other night, picked up me another box of uh, Space Wolves, and it um, gave me an idea for a little video here for you guys. Basically, you guys pick up your marine boxes, see uh, the guys on the cover here. Basically, you'll build your guys pretty much like on the cover. Well, what I want to show you here is a little, a little modification video, basically without using any green stuff. Basically, let me move this box out of the way here. You don't need to get back here anymore. <laughs> okay. And see what I have in front of you? It's basically two exactly the same Marines. Same legs, torso, head, arms, backpack, everything. All matches. So, basically, if you build these guys, from the box, you're going to have exactly the same looking marine. What I'm going to do here today is I'll build one of them, just like on the box, standard straight out of the box. And then we'll take this other one and we'll customize him. And uh, by chopping and cutting up bits, you know, not extra bits, the bits that were provided with the arms or whatever, and we'll see if we can't make one of the two Marines completely different than the other Marine. So I want to shut the camera down here and build one and let you see a base build without any modifications. Be right back. Okay guys, we're back. Uh, while I was gone, I took and built this guy here. He's basically straight from the box. No mods, no cutting, no nothing. Uh, the parts have all been cleaned barrels drilled out and stuff like that. Other than that, he's straight off the sprue. On well, the other guy, while I was out, went ahead and chopped the weapons loose. Um, modified those a little bit. Uh, chopped the, the braids off because of, you know, looking at the two. The heads, the braids on the braids on the base guy are fairly prominent, so one of the good things to change would be the beard. So I cut all these braids loose. Um, basically, uh, another good mod would be to change hands with the weapons. So I took cut both weapons loose at the top of the fingers. Did the same on the sword. Removing it you know, here and the pommel and um, which left me you know with, leaves you with arms like sort of like that oh well not sort of like that they have hands on them <laughs> but I also took and removed the hands so that I could adjust the pose on the wrist and anytime you're removing hands what you look for is a sorry about the shading and everything guys I'm flying by the seat of my pants here um, you look at the, ri the with the wrist usually on a marine you got this little cuff right here it's easier to cut on the outside of the cuff to uh, rip to move the hands that'll allow you to adjust it, the wrist you know left and right on the arm so that you can have you know the wrist up or laying flat or whatever uh, when you rebuild a miniature. Uh, it's also better if the weapon, say you're doing the right handed weapon, sorry my big old fingers here are pretty much blocking the part. Let's get this guy here. Uh, basically the weapon, if you can leave the weapon attached to the hand, you're going to have a better joint or and you're also going to have a better, a little better look. See like with this one because he was pulling the trigger, his hands turned out a little. And it doesn't really fit with the palm of the sword. It gives it a little bit of a curve look. It won't really be noticeable in the miniature, but you'll know it's there. Um, one of the things you can do here is flatten the bottom of the hand here a little bit and glue the pommel to it so it gives it a straight shot through. Uh, on a pistol, it's not going to matter. So you cut off a bolt pistol and put on a plasma pistol. And it really ain't going to matter. 
but if you can basically change the hand with the weapon you're going to have a better joint and a better looking weapon but you know like I say we're limited here to the two parts we had so uh, by doing it this way you still you know get a fairly strong and it ain't going to break or anything but um, when you want to move the wrist cut it here if you're just moving a weapon cut it along the top of the hand right there so I'm going to take and build this other guy here on camera and we'll adjust him to uh, change him from the pose of the guy here in the back so let me adjust the camera a little bit so you can see both at the same time uh, sorry about the shaky cam so here we go uh, you noticed I went ahead and just blue tacked both the guys to the base because that will give me options to uh, add cork or sand or snow or whatever I want to do to the base without the miniature on it so I can build it up a little bit and then put the miniature in but this will also allow me to build the miniature and get a general stance for him and stuff so sorry about that so you know I like to build them like this to where they're just tacked to the base that way it gives me options on the base but we're going to get and start there uh, I'm just using just a Loctite super glue to glue this guy together you know if you use plastic glues and stuff like that that's fine too but um, just for speed I want to use a super glue so that this video speeds up a little bit so basically I'll drop the base and if you look at the legs the way the legs are positioned you'll sort of see a pose starting you know basically if the legs are flat like this it's going to look like that guy there but also if you turn him in a little bit now he's leading with a leg so just apply the chest with a straight on chest onto them legs you've already got a little bit more of a stepping in type pose he's looking sorry getting him in the center shot here which gives him you know a look a little different right off the bat so then we'll um, go ahead and add the arm to that side over here um, if you look on the arm we'll add it without the weapon first so just enough glue to stick him on Center there. No, I don't. Okay. Add the other arm. Slapping stuff around here. I'm not really giving myself enough room. And it's a little harder to build around this camera than I thought it was going to be. But um, we're going to give it a shot anyway. So, just sort of. I got everything centered here. That looks good. I don't like that elbow turned in that much. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. I'm changing my mind in mid pose there. A little bit more glue there. I want this arm more straight out. Stepping into a swing, so we'll cut the wrist out a little bit like that. That's hard for supper. So, I don't know if you 
you hear that or not, but if you did, I'm sorry. And what do I do? I glue it to my finger. Come on, stick. So that gives you a little bit of, uh, I'm going to cleave you in half, look. Okay. So let's add the hand to the other wrist. Like I said, it's one I've cut off at the wrist also. We don't want any gangsta eyes, so we'll take and give the wrist a more vertical look. Oops, so it's up there like that, and he's blasting away. Bang, 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 bang. Here we go. Okay, see where I've cut the, the bolter loose? It's just right across the top of the knuckle. somebody and get ready to step into an act or sword swing. Let's see on the face, what I did, sorry about that, making all kind of racket. Um, I chopped the braids loose right through here. You can see spread out here on the tables of braids. Save these little pieces like this uh, that you chop off. Uh, start your little bit pile. What you can do with these braids, we'll show you here in a minute, I'm going to add them to this guy here, to the sides to his hair. So you can take these braids, add it to him, and make his head even more different than a base head. So I'm going to actually modify this guy just a little bit, but I wanted to show you the base guy first. So I'm going to take his head on now. So this, you know, just generally building is is all in seeing what you know. What the figure actually has to offer you in in the way it's posed, because the figure itself will guide you to a pose it wants. And by taking little pieces, cutting and and gluing to my own fingers, damn it! There we go. Stay. Stay. Don't mind very well. But um. And then knocked him off his tacky base. There we go. See, we're already getting a fairly different looking miniature by just giving a more aggressive pose. Little bend on the arm, change it to wrist. Switching the weapon so that instead of having the sword sort of down and out, he's got an aggressive look up with the bolter up. And that would just leave adding you know, the backpack and the shoulder pauldrons, which are you know, basically pretty generic. There's little things you could also do to them, um, like say cutting loose the, the totems and stuff on them, but it's not super necessary. So, like I say, you can see the two miniatures, basically the exact same parts. Now, they add the backpack and the shoulders, but it's not really, you know, time effective on the video but as you can see two miniatures they sort of have a similar appearance still because of the face. The face has still got the binocular and stuff but it gives you a little bit of a different enough look that you can tell the difference in the two. So sort of done what I wanted to show so you know, I hope this helps you know there are newer guys out there who are just building your armies. I know some of you old timers says, yeah, this is basic stuff, I don't need to see this. But, you know, it's sort of a little key update sort of thing to just sort of remind you that you can modify these guys without green stuff. And, um, you know, I hope this helps somebody out. And if you like, 
you know, leave a comment and some of the stuff that you would have done different, uh, maybe in a pose or something like that, that you could maybe see that would help anybody else looking at this video say, well, wait a second, why didn't he change this or that? Uh, I could have shaved and cut, like the binocular loose, or shaved his hair off, something like that too, but like I say, we're just, you know, just going for a quick little video here and let you see what was up. So, there we go, guys. Um, stay tuned. Uh, you'll see these guys again, at least probably this guy. I'm thinking I re I'll paint him up on a paint demonstration on how I paint Space Wolves. <clears throat> Might be this guy, too. So, you will see. You know, one of these two guys will be coming up in the future with uh, how to paint. So, uh, stay tuned, guys. And, you know, like and subscribe if you like this sort of stuff. So, uh, leave a comment. Tell me, you know, how I could have helped with, you know, any more suggestions or whatever. So, you know, like I say, this is all a learning curve for all of us. And here we go. Stay tuned for the next ones, guys. We'll see you later.